Hello, everyone. Welcome to another webinar uh, by Uniform Agri. This is Matt Delisle, and I am with Lauren today. Hi, Lauren. Hey, everyone. Good. So Lauren will be taking care of the questions today. And uh, just a couple of things uh, right before we start. Uh, if you want to ask a question, uh, feel free to unmute your microphone and uh, you can voice your question that way. Or you can also use the uh, chat uh portion of the screen uh to just type in your question and like i said lauren will uh, take care of it if you're not a customer of uniform uh you can check out the hands out handout section uh to find a flyer of our uh of our software so just click on it and it will download to your computer uh one more thing this recording uh, will be available next Monday. So just go to our website and uh, you will have access to it by then. Uh, and you will also get the link by email. All right, so let's get started. So SPP, Standard Peak Production, is one of my favorite topic in Uniform. Uh, so we're gonna start by explaining uh, the core definition or the origin of SPP. So here we go. Um, so why uh, how are we making a SPP KPI uh, is because obviously you know milk production on farms aren't the same for any farms that's obvious uh, but also fluctuations in milk productions are uh, influenced by management uh, and that's what we want to focus on you know there's also animal factors that will influence uh, milk production, like age, number of days in lactation, moment of pregnancy, et cetera. But what we're trying to accomplish here with SPP is to solely focus on fluctuations in milk based on management. So it could be uh, comfort, it could be nutrition, uh, it could be uh, anything that's outside of the animal factor. Uh, history behind it, that's a KPI that goes back to the 1970s. I uh, wasn't even born. Uh, so there's millions and millions of, of cows uh, that have helped develop this KPI. So there's a lot of data uh, behind it. And of course, uh, this KPI has been adjusted uh, numerous times uh, after the 70s. Uh, to of course uh, adapt to the um, the ways of uh, producing that we have today. And what's the core definition of SPP? Uh, it's basically the calculated average of daily production when the cow is mature at 50 days in milk. Okay, so it corrects for age, days in milk, and moment of pregnancy. And so that's why you can compare any animals among each others. And a good thing to note is that uh, SPP is always calculated between uh, five and uh, 305 days in milk. There's also uh, uh, numerous factors uh, or correction factors that are used to calculate SPP. Uh, there's uh, 5,400 of them. Uh, so they will adjust based on milk production level, age, uh, or stage of lactations. Uh, the best way to, to know what it's all about is to take a very concrete example here. So we have a heifer, Charlene, uh, that is currently on this lactation curve. Okay, so this is today's date. So as we go, we know that she's on the lactation curve that's gonna end up with 8,000 kilos at 305 days, okay? And when she's mature, we can, we can certify that she's going to uh, have a peak of 45 kilos. Now we move along the lactation curve. So we move up days in milk, but same story again, she's on the same lactation curve, so we can effect, efficiently predict what's going to be her peak 
when she's mature. So same story here. She will have a peak of 45 kilos. Again, I'm not gonna tell the same thing over and over, but what I wanna point out here is what happens when something happens, okay? She, she's got milk fever, mastitis, or anything, bad nutrition, uh, employee mistake, uh, you know, based on that. And then she, 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 she dropped in milk right here. So it affects, of course, the whole lactation curve. And the prediction at maturity would also change according to that. So she's now in, at 7,000 kilos of milk at 305 days instead of 8,000. And when she's mature, instead of peaking at 45 kilos, she would now peak at 40 kilos. So you see where I'm going? The, the, when, we, when we talk about an SPP curve, I don't like to, to call it a curve because we, we want a line that is as straight as possible. Okay, so we see the progression of all the SPP and then a, a small dip uh, at this point here. So this is what our SPP graph looks like. So you see at the bottom, you have days in milk split in four groups. Okay, so 060, 6120, 120, 200, and then the late lactation up to uh, 305 days. And then to the left, we have the milk yield and SPPs in kilos, of course, if you're in Canada. And then the two numbers we see here are for the, the first group, so 0, 060 days in milk. And this group stands at 41.7 kilos of SPP. So that means the average of all these animals will be a peak when they're mature at 41.7 kilos. And the 34.9 kilos is the average milk production per day for these cows again, from zero to 60 days. And then you see as we move on, there's a decrease in SPP. So let me go to another report like this one here. You see, the, we, we kind of see it backwards here. So uh, there's a lot of issues initially uh, because we're only standing at 40 kilos at maturity. Um, but then later on, we're standing at 46. So that means there's something odd, something going on probably in the transition period of those animals. And just to show, this would be the problem area here. And anything that is below uh, these uh, that highest peak here, 46.8, is an area problem. Is a problem area. So this is where you you're losing money. This is where you're losing milk. So let's take a look in the in the software where we can find. Uh, these analysis. So just one thing to note first, uh, the SPP graph are only available uh, to our uh, gold users. So Uniform Gold, if you have this license, you have the uh, SPP graph available. If you have a silver license, uh, there's also another graph that I'm going to show at the end of our uh, presentation. Uh, but what I want to say is don't hesitate to ask us because we can we can unlock it at 30 days trial for you if you want to uh, test out uh, the gold license and have access to uh, SPP. Uh, the first thing uh, on the dashboard, you can make sure that you have the SPP graph. And if you don't, just click on the little wheel here. And then you can choose to display either by graph or button, but also SPP are calculated. So either by milk recording, 
milk meters if you have a partner or robot or also manual if you if you choose to enter your milk weights uh, manually based on on what you see on the the milkers and of course what is good and bad or your targets here will will solely depends on where you're standing at right now so for somebody who stands at 45 kilos spp of course you're not going to shoot for 60 kilos you know in in the next week but you're going to climb your way there maybe by five kilos at a time so you know 50 kilos would be a good indication for a uh, 45 kilos spp herb so once this is done uh, so this will give you the uh, overall SPP average for the whole herd. Okay, so I'm standing at 54.5 right now. If I want to get all details about SPP, I can simply go on the cow head, milk management, SPP, and an SPP report summary. If you want to set it as a shortcut, you can simply right click on this button and add it to toolbar. So see right now it's 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 right here at the top. So I can access it uh, at any time. So this is my graph uh, for my herd right here my spp graph a uh, couple of things before we start you want to check properties so properties will help you set up how you want to analyze spps on your herd uh, so you have the option of course to choose between milk recording or milk meter i'm going to choose milk meters in, in this uh scenario here and also it will automatically of course uh go to the uh latest milk meter uh available in your software you want to make sure that you click the seven days average because if there's anything wrong with your uh with your uh milk meters collection uh you want to make sure that you're not uh selecting this day and so by choosing seven days average it will look a lot better and then your SPP periods here, uh, you can set them up yourself. So these are the defaults, but you can also use uh, any other number of days in milk. If you want to mo closely monitor your 0, 30 days in milk, uh, you can set it up here. Don't forget to, to check the save settings button when you're done. Hit OK. And this is what we see right here. So uh other options available are uh to filter by lactation so most of the time when when i see a graph like this you, you see there's a, a little bit of lack uh at early stage of lactation here I'm, I'm standing at 50 kilos while i'm ending my uh lactation around 55. so i like to rule out the transition period first so if you click on your first lactation and you see that the issue is still there as in this scenario of course your transition period is probably not the issue but this is a very good report uh, to show to your vet or uh, feeding consultant another thing that i'm going to show is uh, if you go under recording sheets you get to see all lactations along with all four stages on the same page. So you see in first column is the first lactation and then second and then three, third lactation is and, and, and up. And if I scroll down a bit, you see my four stages of lactation. So it gives me a clear pictures with actual digits all at the same time of my SPP in my herd so again very good thing to look at you can print it of course and uh, or send it directly to your to your vet 
Another portion that I want to show will be under the cow head, milk management, and then the milk production graph. Give it a few seconds. So you see that the milk record, uh, the the milk production graph has a lot of information on it. I'm just gonna disable this, and it runs on a weekly basis. So th see, this is for year 2020. So that's my last complete year. And every dot on this graph represents one week. So I've got 52 dots, and this is my overall SPP level of my whole herd and i can see uh you know beginning of the year i was doing fantastic uh close to 60 and then i had a dip along summertime here and then i went back up around december but not quite as high as i used to be at the end of 2019 okay so this is one way to look at it from a whole herd perspective but i can also uh go by uh days in milk period here and what we end up with is the same four stages that i had set up here in my spp graph but in a in a different fashion so if we start with my 0 60 days I can see the average throughout the year, obviously. But then if I add up all the other stages, what I'm looking for is a very flat line for SPP. Remember that? And that very flat line would be like on the 28th of December right here, like the very last dot to your right. So this is very uh, constant throughout all my lactations from all my animals as opposed to if i'm looking at the 7th of september something was odd because as you can see i still had a, a, a very good level with my 0 60 days but moving up from there i had a dip of about five kilos so something was wrong so that's a good way because the management styles are very often based on lactation numbers and of course uh, lactation stages so by having these two indicators in, in the same spot helps you a lot uh, to troubleshoot what, what's going on with my uh, management because this is again and i'm going to say it again uh, this is solely based on management not on animal factors Do we have any questions uh, so far, Lauren? No, not so far. Looks like you're doing a great job, Matt. Good. Well, if there's no more questions, uh, so this is the end of uh, my uh, my uh, webinar about SPP. Again, this is a this is a very big concept. Uh, hopefully, um, you've uh, you've understood well the principles uh, behind it. And again. Uh, if you need uh, some uh, help setting that up, uh, please call us 1-866-807-6111 or send us an email at supportna at uniform-agri.com. All right, still no questions, uh, Lauren? No questions. All right, well, thanks everyone and see you next time.